Many farmers across the world keep livestock which supplies a wide range of products and services such as meat, milk, eggs, hides and skins, transport, drought power and manure. Farmers know all too well that their survival depends on keeping their soils healthy and that animals play an important role in this. Sasa, kalendari manga biloko umanya wabeka kumbole. Lunda gundo wa bika chofsa ni yesa na kuchendra kama kikundi. Na kuvora matu manura kwa unapanda hivi unapanda. Na kuvora kukasit kombos kama kikundi. Kama na kukasit kombos. Na kukasit kombos hiyo. Dio la January, mwe umbasi kuroho, kwa lango mundo, na kupindu lira ikombo siyo, na wena kubakala masingu ako. Dio la February, mwe sikuwa hawiri, kwa mala kuchinga kuhira mkunda. If livestock are managed well, they can contribute to important ecosystem functions such as improving soil fertility. They are also essential to livelihoods, incomes, nutrition and food security. A changing climate and growing population, along with every shrinking land, have led to a shift towards mixed crop livestock systems. In this video, we will learn how farmers in Kenya's western region are benefiting from mixed crop livestock systems. Mukunda kwa nje kuno, ni mama tuma, ndi ni tingombe, ndi ni tingoho, ndi na magulu gulu, mabata msinga, ndi ndi nda mabata kaka waide, ne ndi ndi ndo lusi. Chichira tingombe zina tihonya anga imbole ya kuhira mlusi, ne nyola mbera manchi, ne ngusia, ne kahonya maitaji kanchi. Lano, Nishio at Nishin to Shansi and Yanga in no known Jan at all. Huibulungwa, Mohula Latsing on the Hula Lava Iranga, Masingo Mukunda. Then it's in on Betsino. Sing on Betsy and Jetsino, Serena Fied. She did a lady manga matuma, Ninda Hafina, Homala Hochinga, a massacre of its anger caton. Ratsingombe. The singombe to Nutia Chamasan, Kuchanganian in the molasses. The singombe city. Tia Hadia Silatia Hulanola Masingua Manji, no Huira Mukund. Wahaida Mukunda, Hulanola, or Lucy Lohol of Lay. Or Lucy Lohol of Lay, Hore Ratsingombe Tia Hadia, and it's a wet and gambera Malay. Ambera ako ni koka ni ndiri. Nga hira anga kusokoni, ngusia, ndaka nyola mangondo, ngula hoi sukari, ngula hoi shende nyeri. Mana tingombe tiyan jetinu, tiyan nida sana. Kwendo la anga ikasi yobu limi, noru mishira manua kiti ngombe kani, mafu kiti ngombe, na malai sana. Kwembo raba limi ba shanji, but the Hanena Mahua came in Bolay on my duke. Hulonde, she got no sack of water anger. Who can see its compos? Who retained your mamma noa? Calahonia for my tumor, Calahonia for singombe, Calahonia for my bed. Maisha gave Calabadilic, she got a canjica badilic. Integrated farming calls for skill in different types of activities such as raising cows, goats, sheep and poultry, crop and vegetable farming and growing grass. 
The droppings from the livestock can be used as manure, while the nutritious crop residues make good fodder. Making the most of these farm spillovers can help boost both the yields and animal growth and in turn improve the household's health and wealth. Crop residues found in Kakamega includes stovers of cereals such as sorghum, maize and millet and halms of leguminous crops such as beans and groundnuts and other crops, cassava leaves, sweet potato vines and planted agroforestry species. Maize stove is the most abundant of all crop residues in Kakamega. The farmers collect these crop residues from the field and store them at home to feed the livestock. Now, what have we learned? Mixed farming systems are found to be more efficient compared to monocropping or specialized livestock production systems. Land is more intensively utilized as population density increases and crop livestock interactions intensify. Adding manure to soil increases nutrients and soil water holding capacity and improves soil structure. In addition, if rotations of various crops and forage legumes are used, they replenish soil nutrients and reduce soil erosion. You will also earn more money for your family by selling diverse crops produce and livestock products in the market.